Hey everybody, I am back real quick to show you the results of my uncut and unstyled wig by Sylvia. I had it cut into some layers by my new stylist and I am very, very, very happy with how everything turned out. I did dye the hair. If you're friends with me on Instagram, then you've seen that picture of me having the little supplies and stuff. It was my first time ever dyeing hair, so it was exciting and nerve-wracking because I for sure thought I was going to mess it up. But came out good. As you saw in the video, if you are a subscriber, then you've seen that the hair was in its natural 1B state. So me using, I used a dark and lovely brown hair dye. It was um, with olive oil in it. It was nice. It really kept that hair nice, soft, and silky even after I finished washing it. Conditioner in that is awesome. I'm going to leave that information to that hair dye down below. So I'm not sure the camera, I don't think, is going to be able to catch the true color of this. But it is a dark brown. I'm trying to decide right now if I want to go lighter or what I'm going to do. I did not really get cut into a bob. This is just, you know, I had her cut layers into it. But eventually I will go back to her and have her cut it more into a bob. Because I think that will look really cute. But again, I'm just enjoying it the way it looks right now. So here's the front with the layers, the face framing layers. Here's the side. back on this side I'm just really really loving my journey with closure wigs I just love like I'm totally done with leave out there's no point in rocking leave out especially when you've got the groove down on how to make your lace closures look more realistic which I'm still doing um but it looks pretty good the vendor, whoever the vendor is that Sylvia uses, um, as you saw in the reveal video, my show and tell video, this was or this is a middle part closure. Um, it was a set standard middle part closure, so it was our they already pre parted it and it was nice already, so I didn't have to go back in and tweeze anything which I was loving very much what I do right now even though I haven't put any makeup in here in a while but I use an eyeshadow palette it's a it's a, one of those little NYC palettes it's called bronzed in Brooklyn and I mix like the medium one and the darker one and I use one of those nice angle brushes which I well actually not the one I use not an angle brush but you should be using the angle brush to get in there um, I need to get some concealer. I think it'll look better if I use concealer. So I'm still messing around with different things, but for the most part, it looks really good. I've been getting tons of compliments on this wig, and I am just loving, like I said, my journey with lace closure wigs. It's so efficient. Like I said, I'm done with leave out. No point in having leave out at all. And when I want me a style, just throw on my wig, of course. I do wear my real hair out also from time to time, so I'm not one of those people that is so caught up on wearing weave that they forget about their real hair. And if anything, this year, is I'm so focused on a healthy hair journey. So my new stylist, I'm, just, I'm having her to start taking care of my hair. So I need to stop being cheap and going to Dominicans because even though you can go to Dominicans and it's cheap to get your hair washed, but... They're using so much heat and it's drying out hair. So it's not good for black hair because black hair, we need moisture, constant moisture. And she's a black stylist, but she's real cool. And she actually works inside the Bonton. She has a salon where I work, so it, it's perfect. All right, enough with that blabber. I think that is enough to tell y'all right now. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. So please make sure you follow me on Instagram at IvanaLove25. Make sure you follow Sylvia at Fablix Wigs by Sylvia on Instagram. And yeah, that's about it. Please watch my last few vi couple of videos if you haven't already, whether you're a subscriber or not. I hope you do subscribe to stay tuned for all my new hair adventures. It would be cool and nice if you did. And if any of y'all is watching this before Sunday, happy, happy Easter. I hope that you're able to spend that time with your family, friends, all your loved ones, and all the kids, nephews, nieces, all that other good stuff. 
and get some good grub going on because I got invited to a couple of dinners so I'm excited <laughs> so after I rest up from working my two jobs this weekend um, I'm definitely about to be chilling so thanks so much for tuning in y'all and see you later